It's week four of Laundry Basket Quilt Summer Mystery Quilt, and there is a lot to do. This week there are 20, two, zero, 20 blocks to do. I think that's more than the first three weeks combined, um, but I haven't counted, <laughs> and I'm not going to. I've already picked my six fabrics from dark to light, and also this week we need the background fabric. I specifically only picked fabrics that are yardage too. I didn't want to work with fat quarters this week because I think I'll have less leftovers if I use yardage, and I'll explain why. So when I'm working with fat quarters and with the fabric strips that have been cut in half, I'm finding that I'm getting two kinds of panels. One panel is uh, what the panel that has all of the selvage edges on it, and the other panel is just normal. You know, there's a lot more usable fabric. And for this kind of panel, I'm getting about maybe 20 inches of usable um, strip set that I can cut from. So if that continues to be true, that means I can get two of this week's block out of this selvage edge panel, and then I'll have a wastage of about five or six inches. But if I work from the whole width of fabric strips, I won't have that awkward cut in the middle, and I won't have five inches left over. It'll be seamless. I can cut more pieces that way, and I won't have as much left over. And on a little bit of a side note, I'm actually going to save these selvages. I've never done that before, but I think these could be useful somewhere, and I just can't bear to throw them away. I read a book once about selvage quilts, and they said you actually don't want to cut right on this line. You want to cut a quarter to half an inch above that line. So that is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do that first before I start cutting my strips out. So all the strips for my strip set are cut. I saved these fancy selvages, and I also cut this wide strip from my background fabric, but I'm not going to need that for a while. I also want to point out that the lightest fabric and the darkest fabric are a quarter of an inch wider than the four colors in the middle. I read the pattern twice and I still almost missed that, so I wanted to make sure that I mentioned it here. I'm going to piece my strip sets off camera, but if you want a refresher on how I cut the strips and how I piece the panels together, go ahead and check out my week one video where I go step by step through this whole process. Okay, to recap, the pattern wanted eight half width of fabric panels, but instead I did three whole width of fabric panels. So now it is the moment of truth. Can I get all of my blocks out of these three panels? Oh, and I pressed two of my strip sets to the dark and one to the light. That does mean that eventually I'm gonna to have to repress some blocks, but I'll worry about that later. My go-to ruler is just a little bit too skinny, so I'm using two rulers to get the size that I need for each block. So from one strip set, I got six of these blocks with this much left over. So I cut it very, very, very close. So if I can get six blocks from each strip, that means I'll have a total of 18 blocks but I only need 16, so I'm gonna have just a little bit of leftover, but not as much leftover as I would have had if I had cut four half with the fabric panels. Did I say that right? I also cut my background fabric into four squares, and then I cut each square across the diagonal from corner to corner to get eight of these half square triangles. Now, let's start cutting these strip set blocks. I'm going to split these blocks into two groups of eight, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to show you in pairs like this. For eight of your blocks, you're going to cut from the upper left-hand corner down to the lower right-hand corner. And then for your remaining eight blocks, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to cut from the lower left-hand corner to the upper right-hand corner. So we're gonna have four pieces that look like this. And the first step is to put these two together. And you're gonna make a total of eight of this unit that has mostly the light. 
and four of this unit that has mostly dark. So if you have eight of these and four of these, that means you're gonna have extras of the dark uh, slices, which means you're gonna combine them with your background fabric. So you're gonna have four of these and four of these. Keep in mind that when you are separating these blocks into groups of eight, you want eight that are pressed to the dark and eight that are pressed to the light. Because then you can flip your triangle over and easily nest all those seams. All of my triangles are all matched up and ready to be sewn. So I have four of the 4A, eight of the 4B, and eight of the 4C and 4D. I'm gonna sew these all up and then I'll see you again when I finished all 20 of these blocks. That was a lot of blocks. So I have four of these, eight of these, and eight of these in two different uh, variations. You may notice that my blocks are a little messy. Um, that's because I haven't been squaring up as I go because I'm trying to decide if I want to buy a bigger square up ruler or not. I'm leaning towards yes, but I might wait until all my blocks are done and then square them up all at once. These blocks are probably the most intriguing or um, maybe inspiring of the blocks that we've done so far. And it's the first time that I've wondered how they would look in a one block quilt. They're very striking, I really like them. This is what I have left over. And again, I cut three strips of each fabric instead of four. So I saved a ton of fabric by doing it this way instead of cutting it in half and doing a bunch of half panels. It really worked out well, I'm glad I did it. And I recommend you give it a try so you can save that little bit of extra fabric you might need later on. Now, let's talk about my mom's blocks. I didn't do them because all I have is strips for her background fabric, but really, that's an excuse. That's just an excuse. I just didn't have it in me to do 40 blocks in one evening. So I'm going to finish her blocks up over the weekend, and I'll include those in next week's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And as always, I'll see you next week. Bye.